Welcome to the Make TV Playout. The Make TV Playout is a cloud scheduler and playout solution enabling content owners to create TV programs with a mix of pre-produced content and live streams, which can then be published to a number of desired destinations, including Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, and several other video broadcast services and social streaming sites. Before we get started, let's go over the user interface. On the left side is your content library. Everything you upload to your instance will show up in the panel here. In the center is your program, and in the bottom right is your preview monitor. To begin using your playout, you must upload your content. Videos that are to be used in the playout must always be uploaded to the playout system. You may use standard upload tools like SFTP Uploader to import your files into the playout library. To begin uploading content into your Playout library, you will need to log into the SFTP server provided with your instance. Once you're logged in, simply click on the Data folder and drag your video file into the No XML Imports folder. Once your file is finished uploading, it will show up in your Playout library. Now that we have content in our library, we can begin scheduling videos into the playlist. To add videos to your playlist, simply drag and drop your video files into the program area. Videos will be added in the order you place them. Once you have a playlist set, you should make sure you have your destinations configured so you can begin streaming. To configure your destinations, click on the gear icon next to the preview monitor. Click the plus sign at the top, and in the drop-down menu, select the platform you wish to stream to. For this demo, we'll select Twitch as an example. Make sure to also label your target name. Next, the Playout will need to connect to your Twitch account. Click the link provided and a new page will open. Here you can authorize the connection of your Twitch account to your Playout server. Once authorized, you may close the window. Authorizing the connection will allow the Playout to stream to Twitch, as well as trigger ads, title changes, and change your stream category. Once configured, click Save. You may continue adding as many as 10 outputs if needed. For demo purposes, we will have just the one output configured and switched on. Once it's switched on, click Save. Before we go live, we should set up ad breaks. To set up your ad breaks, click on the Manage Events button above the program and click the plus sign. Give your ad break a title. For example, I will use the ad length time as my title. Fill in the ad length time you want for this specific event. Since we're streaming to Twitch, ads are usually run in increments of 30 seconds. So I can make an event for 30, 60, and 90 seconds, for example. For demo purposes, we'll use the default fallback video. This video can be anything you would like. For example, if a sponsor sends you a custom ad video, you can select it in this menu. Otherwise, the ad that triggers will be from the inventory on the platform you're streaming to. Once you're done configuring your ad breaks, save changes and click Done. To insert your ad break into a video, click on any video in your program. The panel on the right will pop up and give you options to edit your video. Click on the pencil at the top right. Here you can insert your ad to any part of the video. Find your ad break event in the search bar and select it. The default ad placement will be at the start of the video. To adjust this, scan the video to where you would like to place your ad. To match the start time to your video, simply click the start time box and it will automatically synchronize to the current time of the video. You may then save changes. You are now all set to go live. To schedule your play out to stream, click on the date and time button next to the play button here. Select the date and time you wish for your play out to go live. Once set, the bottom timeline will show a countdown until your playout is live. Once you're live, the preview monitor will show the video feed that's being streamed. At the bottom of the preview, you will see your output. You can click this to see more details, like if you're pushing to the destination, if you're able to trigger API calls, and if the destination is receiving your stream. Your stream will be live until the end of the programmed playlist. At the bottom bar, you can see the remaining length of your playlist. Thank you for choosing Make TV and happy streaming.